Drosar natalensis is one of the easiest sundews I've ever grown. It requires such little maintenance that even in the 90 degree Fahrenheit temperatures or higher during the summer months, it looks just like this and it has really nice mucilage production and it never ceases to stop growing. And I'll give you some other shots of the other plants that I have in this pot. But as you can see, it's a very beautiful sundew as well and it develops some nice kind of yellowish maroon coloration on the leaves and it actually can turn fully red if you give it enough light intensity. One of my favorite things about this plant is that it produces really nice sets of seed if you feed it. I haven't fed these plants or even tended to them in the past year so I haven't um, had them uh, flowering recently but in the past I've been able to spread around thousands of seeds of this plant and it's been um, easily propagated from root cuttings as well. The only problem about this complex is it's being confused recently with the Drosera dielziana, and it is um, easily, well not easily, but it's the morphology of the leaves is somewhat easily um, pulled apart from dielziana because on the leaf lamina, which in this case would be in the back of the tentacle part of the leaf, um, it has hairy um, or pilose. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's it has minute hairs like you can see on the crown here. It's also it also contains a hairy pedial, which is the part between the lamina and the crown. So hopefully you can tell yours apart by um, doing a diagnosis like this. So this is Drosser natalensis.